Hey boys and girls, and everything in between. Um, I have no idea what week this is, because <laughs> there's so many weeks in this channel. But, this week, hold on, I know we're talking about relationships, but, I mean, uh, how, or has your relationship or dating life changed since beginning transition? Uh, tell us a dating story, story or discuss your fears around dating. Um, well, I don't really date because I've been in a long-term relationship for like two and a half years now to my beautiful lady friend. Um, and uh, let's see, has it changed though since I started transitioning? Well, I could share with you how you, we met and then that might be some time. Um, we were friends first. I met her at a drag show. I was performing. She gave me a dollar and put her knee in my crotch. She was really drunk. <laughs> and she did this little dance move and put her knee in my crotch. And that's how I remember her. And then um, I gave her my phone number that night, which I don't really do. And I was like really nervous about it because I'm really pretty shy. Uh, so I gave her my phone number and she's like, oh, thanks. And then she added me on MySpace because it was back when MySpace was big. And I called her a stalker. Um, and it turns out she had a girlfriend. <laughs> so we were just friends. And then I got a girlfriend. Um, and so we actually communicated a lot because we both had office jobs and we would be bored. So we would message each other back and forth like all day long on MySpace. Just talking about, um, you know, stuff around, actually around gender, not really uh, trans stuff, but just like uh, the social construction of gender and the expectation placed on women and men, or like our days, or our girlfriends, or you know, whatever. But there was definitely a connection and a crush. So that went on for about mm, eight months or so, I'd say. It was September, and then like I broke up with my girlfriend at the end of April the following year, like, I don't even know the years, it's been a while. And then, so then we went through this awkward period, because like, she told me that she liked me, I tried to kiss her, because I was drunk. Uh, yeah, it was great. Um, and she was like, no, no, I have a girlfriend still, because she has morals, which I do enjoy. Um, so, but she liked me, and she, like, her relationship was coming to an end, so it wasn't like, she was madly, I don't know how to explain it, so, um, we had an awkward period of about a month and a half where we were like, <laughs> we weren't really just friends, but we were, it was weird. And then she called me the day I was getting on a plane to go to Milwaukee for the weekend for Pride to tell me that um, she broke up with her girlfriend. I was like, awesome, you break up with her the day I'm leaving. Um, so then we started dating when I got back. And then we broke up uh, about four months, four and a half months into the relationship for about a month. Um, for very valid reasons, she broke up with me. Um, just it wasn't working at that point in time. And then about a month later, we got back together, and we've been together ever since. Um, it's probably the healthiest relationship I've ever had. <laughs> so um, she, prior to uh, me, she had always identified as a lesbian, and we were still a gay couple when, or a lesbian, I'd never called myself a lesbian, but a lesbian couple, uh, you know, up until January of this year, so about two, you know, a year and a half, just over a year and a half into our relationship is when I started to transition. Um, we still identify as queer or gay, um, just the way the rest of the world sees us has changed. Um, I'd say the only, like, the, I'd say the biggest thing that's been actually really positive for our relationship is prior to tea, I was really emotional and I would say needy. And um, since starting tea, it has leveled out my emotions a lot. 
and um, I'm definitely more independent than I once was. Um, all I can see is my cat right there. Do you see it? Anyway. Uh, so, it's actually helped in a good way. The other thing is that um, sometimes I'm a dick. Hormones have kind of made me be a jerk sometimes. Uh, especially, like, on my shot day. If I take my shot later in the day, I'm, I'm kind of an asshole. Um, and I've been trying to figure that out with, like, my levels and stuff, but... Um, yeah, but that is really about it, like, she, I mean, once we started, you know, getting into this, and re she really thought about it, she just realized that it has never really been about the gender for her, it's just that the people that she tends to connect with are women, or born women, so socially, you know, raised that way, you have a different way of thinking, um, so, like, it really wasn't that big of a deal. I think it's easier because I still identify as queer. We still spend a lot of our time in the gay community, or most of our time in the gay community. I don't really see myself as male, even though I don't see myself as female. So it's not as big of a transition for her as it it might be for some other people. Um, but she was definitely the first person I talked to about it because um, I didn't want to lose her over it. Um, so yeah, and then fears around dating. Um, I'm, you know, I'm really happy in this relationship. I think we have a really awesome relationship. So I haven't really thought a lot about what I would do if we were to break up. Um, I'm guessing, I'm hoping that it wouldn't be that hard to find somebody to date. Um, I mean, just my interactions with people because I still, like I said, I'm still very much a part of the gay community, is that um, in my discussions with them, they wouldn't have a problem dating somebody but like me. But I understand that I'm not exactly the norm um, when it comes to, to trans guys. Like, because I know a lot of trans guys wouldn't date lesbians because they feel like they would still see them as women. Um, and I, um, since I do identify very much in the middle of the gender spectrum like I don't care how you see me or how you view me as long as you see me and love me as a person um, and use you know the right name and pronouns like if you start throwing around she then that's a little different but um, but if in the back of your head that's how you see me just don't tell me and I know this like this section of my video is probably like unpopular opinion but that's how I see it and you know I figure if somebody can love me, uh, for me, then that's all that matters. So, I guess that's about it. This is actually pretty long, because I told you my dating story. Hope everyone's having a good week. Um, we'll talk to you next week. What are we talking about? How do we make the decision to transition? That'll kind of be annoying, because it took me like two years. Anyway, okay, hope you're having a good week. Peace.